Hey everyone, Effie here. Today I'm going to show you how I made this trio of cards using our Harvest stamp set and also our Garden Goddess stamp set, but that one I will show you later because it's just a sentiment set. So I'm going to take the tomato image stamp from the Harvest set and I'm going to ink it up with some Versamark ink, which is just some clear embossing ink. I'm going to stamp it onto some watercolor paper and then heat emboss this image using some gold embossing powder. Now I went ahead and stamped the two other images in the Harvest set onto watercolor paper panels because I'm going to show you how I painted all three images in this video. Showed you the tomato image and then this beautiful cucumber vine and then this pepper plant. If you love to garden or if you know anyone who loves to garden, this is a really great set to have in your stash to send some cards to them. So I'm going to get started with watercoloring using some Ken Oliver color bursts. I'm using, I think I'm using fuchsia for the tomatoes. I should have gone with a color that was a little bit more red than pink, but it's okay because in nature there are pink hued tomatoes so i just went with it i am using two fine tip pentel aqua brushes i'm using a wet and wet water coloring technique so before i applied any pigment i applied some clean water first and then i dropped some pigment onto that slightly damp area after i was satisfied with the amount of saturation for that first layer color that fuchsia i added some additional shading using I believe this is Merlot color burst. So I'm just giving each of the tomatoes on the vine a little bit more contrast by adding this darker shade. Once I finished coloring all of these beautiful tomatoes, I started coloring in the stem and the leaves. For this shade of green, I'm using sap green. And as I started to color in the leaves, some of the coloring kind of started going out of the lines. So at this point I said, you know what? Let's just go with it and pull some of the color out and make this a little bit of a messy watercoloring project because I do like that look. I enjoy painting this way. It's definitely invigorating and freeing because you're not limited to just staying inside the images. Uh, so I kind of just started pulling the green out throughout the entire image and then I colored the base using some sepia color burst and the coloring for this panel is done let's move on to the next I'm going to color in the pepper plant I think I'm using jack-o-lantern for the peppers and as you can see I wet the peppers first with some clean water and then I started filling in some of the areas with the jack-o-lantern uh, with that base color. And then I went with a brighter tangerine color burst color. I'm layering my colors here. You can see I'm kind of going layer by layer and I'm following the curves of the peppers to figure out where I'm going to add my shading. Once I was satisfied with the coloring of the peppers, I went in with some lime green onto the stems and leaves of this pepper plant. And I kind of just dropped in some pigment and then blended that pigment out with my second fine tip water brush. And as I blend the color out of the images, I kind of blend them out towards the outer edges of the watercolor panel. I don't want any like really obvious hard edges of color. I, I do want to blend some of that color out when they're outside of the line so that the messiness is not so obvious. I do like to employ this technique when the images that I'm working with are smaller. Once the foliage was complete, I then added some sepia to the base of my plant and the coloring for this panel is done let's move on to the next this next image is an adorable cucumber vine and since everything on this image is supposed to be green uh, it was a little bit easier to color because i wasn't switching back between colors so i started off by wetting uh, the entire vine with clean water and then i started dropping in some lime green color burst to the uh, upper portions of the cucumber leaves and then i blended that pigment out to the ends or the tip of the cucumber leaves so i continued that process until i was satisfied with the saturation on each leaf and then i 
did go back and add some tear ver to the upper portions for additional shading. Then I added some sap green to the actual cucumbers. Sap green is a little bit brighter and I wanted a little uh, variation between the greens in my image. So the cucumber vine is complete. And then here are the other two panels that I painted. All three of these panels are going to be turned into one layer card. So I'm just going to go ahead and stamp each sentiment directly onto the card. This sentiment on the tomato plant comes from the harvest set. And then for the last two panels, I'll be using sentiments from our garden goddess stamp set, which is just chock full of really fun and witty uh, gardening sentiments. And all sentiments were stamped using our caviar hybrid ink. So all three panels are complete. All I need to do is pop these onto a card base and they are ready to send out to my gardening friends. So that completes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed today's projects. Let me know, do you garden? What's your favorite thing to grow? Do you know any gardeners in your life who would love cards like this? Let me know in the comments, I would love to hear. And if you haven't done so already, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel because I update it regularly. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you next time.